Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to talk about a very interesting school in our partner system, Kingrich Christian School in Atlanta, Georgia. This is, the campus of this school is very beautiful, and it's gonna go along with a lot of activities. So when you are doing your activities, you will enjoy the campus facilities of the school as well. This school is a very good option for the parents who want to send their students to go to study for the best education in the USA. This school has a good supply, good campus, good facility, and the teachers take good care of their students. And the parent will be peace in mind that their kid is going to study well here. And the proof for us is 100% of the student graduates and go to college and university. Teachers at this school inspire the student by creating a lot of the activities uh, during the classes. And the continued inter interaction and contacting from school staffs, teachers, principals, and AOA staff is helping the student during their uh, studying in Kingbridge Children's School. And also the after uh, they graduate from this school and go to college and universities. Our, our staff continue to contact them, take care of them, and um, and help them do, do, during their periods of staying in the USA until they uh, finish their study plan, go back to home country. Kingrich are also the good option for the student who want to make their own decision for their studying. This is also the good point, a very strong point about this school is helping the student who is, has passion in uh, theater, uh, acting and performing to be professional in their future career. Uh, the school is at public in 2001 and this is the private high school in USA located in Atlanta, Georgia. It's very close to our head office and the school have two intake in, uh, during the year in spring and fall. The rate for teachers and students is 8 students over 1 teacher. And the school has 261 student, high school students in the campus, including about 9 or 10 only uh, interna uh, international students here. Uh, so if you actually want to go to this school, you got to apply very soon because this school is get, going to fall very, very shortly. The other students want to apply have to go to waiting list. So that's why as soon as you apply, the better. The school has uh, from kindergarten to grade 12. Good thing about this school is they got ESL classes for uh, our international students, which is very good. And that is helpful for our student who does really want to improve their English at the same time uh, studying the high school programs in the campus. For the outcome, the ACT average score is about 26 and the average SAT score is 1680. And after that, the students can go to a lot of college and university in the USA. College of William and Mary, Columbia University, Cornell University, Emory University, Georgia Institute of Technology, of course, Rose College, Wake Forest University, New York University, Vanderbilt University, and Sanford University. And the school also has to raise the high amount of the scholarship for, for their students every year. Last year, they uh, help the total scholarship they can help the student to get is 4.6 USD. For the total is 47 students who graduated uh, in 2016. And you can see in the next, uh, uh, the photo and videos that I'm sharing is that the school creates the numerous of the activity in the school. This is helping the student to be very active and very uh, um, create their passion and, uh, and improve their talents that they already got and even more something that they don't know yet about their talents but the school is going to help them to find out and help them join into the lots of the activity to, to maximize their talents. To be access to this school, the student also needs the TOEFL or IELTS. You can try to get to take the test and submit a score 
if, it's, if, if your score is okay, uh, then you try your best to pass the two, two Skype interview with our uh, AOA's um, education directors and uh, the principal at Kingridge uh, Tristan School. And every, every, everything go right, you submit uh, with applica full application forms and uh, three recommendation letters from your teachers in Vietnam and be accepted to be receive uh, the I-20 for your study plan. And the school got the housing option is host family. And about the location, the, 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 in, in summer we got about 31 Celsius degree and in winter about uh, minus 2 uh, Celsius degree. The tuition fee in this school is about over 19,000 US dollar a year. But remember, you are international students, so this tuition fee has to be plus with the international student fee. So it's, it might go higher than you expected. But the total tuition fee is very affordable for our students. So I think this is a good school with a good price. In the next three videos, I'm going to show you the, the, the campus tours of King Richard's Tristan School principal and um, uh, one of the exciting welcoming uh, days for our King Richard's uh, Tristan School students. One more is the uh, general videos for you to get uh, the general information about the school and something that the school is offering for us. I hope you enjoy it and thank you for watching uh, for our video. If you like to see more uh, video about um, our school partners, um, please uh, subscribe to, uh, to the channels and uh, we'll see you soon. I'm Lauer McCown, the head, Associate Headmaster at Kings Ridge Christian School, and I'm really here excited today to introduce to you our new facility, our uh, high school modular addition. And the reason why we're having this right now is because uh, we are a growing school and we have outgrown our high school facility, as Dr. Chadwick is going to explain for us. And um, so we just want to introduce you to the new building and give you an opportunity to kind of get a picture of what our new addition looks like right now. So what I want to do is I want to walk down here a little ways. Now, keep in mind, we have 100 new faculty, that, or 100 faculty on our campus this year, 11 new faculty. We have 124 new students coming in this year, and we're going to be at about 850 students. So Kings Ridge continues to grow. And this is an example, uh, when you look at the modular unit, about how, how significantly our school is growing. I want to introduce you to one of our new faculty. Um, tell me, Dr. Chadwick, as we're walking down here, what do you think of this new facility? What, what, uh, what, what kind of questions are you getting about the facility? So uh, the facility really grew out of necessity for uh, space. We had uh, teachers sharing classrooms and uh, just really wanted, we were using, utilizing every inch uh, of the fairly new facility. So uh, it, it grew out of necessity. We have two new classrooms um, for teachers. It'll house all of our foreign language 
uh, House Christian Ed, as well as our new program, Computer Science, which we're going to go uh, find out about in, in just a few seconds. So tell me about uh, the fears that people had that uh, the seniors were going to have to just be out here. Uh, so what, what kind of classes are being offered in the new module? Yeah, so really the only people who have been, uh, can technically say they were put out in the modulars are freshman lockers are out here in the modulars uh, all down the hallway. Uh, a big reason for that is how big our freshman class is. So uh, their lockers are out here. They moved in uh, today. But as far as classes, it really just depends on the student's schedule. We didn't banish anyone to the, uh, to the brand new cozy uh, uh, modulars, but we do have some students who depends on who they're taking. If they happen to take some teachers who are out here, they may take three or four uh, classes out here in the modulars. But the Just depends on what teacher they've got. No, and our goal is is that, that hopefully their schedules work out to the where they're all over uh, all of our buildings um, so that they, and they, they saw that today as they moved around the building to meet their teachers and their advisors. Great, hey, I want to introduce you to Alan Johnson, one of our new teachers. And uh, Alan, where are you at? Good. Um, Alan Johnson is uh, one of our new uh, teachers. He's going to be actually heading up um, our new uh, computer science uh, courses yes, and has got a real vision for that. Football coach is going to be a robotics coach. Yes, so very, maybe even helping out with some of our technology needs on campus. So, uh, so what do you think about being uh, being at Kingsridge for first? Hey, I'm excited to grow uh, the computer science department. I'm excited about the, 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 the night fairs are coming in. I've had a chance to meet some middle, middle schoolers. So. We're going to try to grow this program to be one of the top in the state. So talk about your vision for what, what the computer science can do as far as having them certified when they leave school. Right. Well, what I want to do is that once I get the kids in and learn their personalities and what their goals are, then I can kind of um, give them some ideas to get certified, which they'll have some credentials to take into the workforce for it. So they won't only have a diploma, but right. they'll have certification that they might be able to use for employment. Absolutely. Even while they're in college. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Um, your room is going to house uh, the uh, video tech. It's going to house uh, robotics, video production, video production. Uh, robotics, uh, and then computer science. Yeah, programming. Yeah, AP computer science as well as all the different levels of computer science. I also, would like people to know, you know, as we hire new teachers, Alan obviously is well qualified to not only teach uh, computer science. He started programs from scratch already. I have. Um, and taught all ability levels. He's also extremely qualified to coach what he's coaching uh, outside of the classroom. But I, I think the biggest thing that for me is, and I think people have found this out right away, he's a perfect fit uh, for Kings Ridge. He's a guy who has a heart for kids, has a heart for Christ, and is uh, a mission appropriate yes, uh, through and through. So we're glad to have him and glad to, him to tackle uh, moving into a new building and get rolling right away. And we've also talked about this eventually being kind of a maker space where it could be a tinkering, you know, where students can really do a lot of innovation and creativity. So yes, it's good to have you here. So what do you think about being in the modular edition? Hey, I like it. It's, it's, it's a growth to me. It's going to be fun to be out here, I think. So yeah. Kind good. of away from build, inside the building. Kind of yeah. Different, different atmosphere. So good. We're going to make it fun. Well, it's good to have you on board. Hey, we want to take you over and, uh, and uh, introduce you to Amy Helms, who's one of our returning teachers. She teaches... Uh, uh, basketball coach and uh, teaches Christian Ed. So, Amy, what do you think about being in the molecular unit? <laughs> the moleculars, we love it over here. Uh, we're really excited uh, to be in the modulars in this new facility. I think when you think, anytime I bring guests, I have family in town just this summer, I was giving them a tour of the campus, and one of the things people always comment on is the community piece, uh, the people, but also just the, the grounds here, the facilities, uh, and the resources. And just a reminder of how incredibly blessed we are when you think of the school starting in a grocery store in 2001. Really, when you look at this building and facility, it's really just another chapter of looking at God's faithfulness uh, and hand on this place. Um, as a faculty member, we've talked a lot about um, we're excited to be over here and kind of having our own space. And one of the things it does is it brings departments together, too, because it allows a space for all the departments to be together and kind of collaborate. And we're excited for the students. We're excited for you guys to come. And I uh, think that you're going to love it. It's great resources and uh, it's just another great addition uh, to Kings Ridge. There's three rooms in this side of the building that don't have windows. So Amy's been very creative to add a little bit of uh, ambiance to her room without having windows. So nicely done. <laughs> yeah, she gets a prize for best, best decoration so far in uh, this side of the campus. So with these, thank you, Amy. Well, and, we, just oh. had, we did have one thing. We had a Chick-fil-A shot for, uh, for Amy. Yeah. 
for Dr. Chadwick right here. Oh. Uh, since we're live right now, this is what we like to call a Chick-fil-A shot in our Christian education. Obviously in between classes. Of course, of course, never, never. So and great we're going to put him on the spot here great to, to see how he does. And, uh, and, uh, Parker Lefton, if you're watching, uh, he's the one person that has gotten this Chick-fil-A shot. It's usually a little bit further. I mean, I, so don't, I want it to be. I want it to be regulation. Oh, regulation would be right here, right, right regulation. here. Regulation. Right, right. So no pressure here. He's, he hasn't had really a chance to warm yeah, up or anything. Warm up or anything. You know, I'm not even sure. Oh, it was, it was an straight. excellent try. It was a good technique. Straight. Line drive. It was. So we're excited for you guys to come back. Can't wait for school to start. So Hunter, as we're as we're looking at, um, so we've got. Christian education, we've got robotics, we've got um, English, right? We've got one English teacher, all the rest of the English teachers Let's are all walk down in, here and see uh, Matt as we're Our one talking. area, um, so you have Christian ed, computer science, um, two history teachers uh, are located out here, actually three history teachers are look out, located out here, Mr. Shell's class, uh, Mr. Burnett's class, uh, Miss Bailey who is teaching part-time history from us, moved from the middle school to high school, she's out here with us. And then on this side of the hallway, um, those four classes are all foreign language. Um, and so we can go down here and, and check out another um, very well decorated uh, room. He, I think he would actually vote himself as best decorated uh, room. But um, as Mr. Watts, Mr. Watts is, um, well, he's, he's one of our foreign language teachers, but more importantly, I think. Uh, for today, especially as busy as he was today, is he's also um, helps with our international student program. He's our uh, global uh, agility uh, coordinator, um, and he is the one who has helped orient all of those international students. Uh, so today, not only did they go through an orientation with all the other students, but also kind of more uh, practical for them, somebody to sit down with them and, and kind of go through uh, how our days operate and what they can expect. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about not only being out here and being a guy who, who's acquired four windows uh, in the modular units, but also um, not just being out here, but also about your role uh, with international students. Sure, well, I'm very excited about this year because of the what we saw last year with international students, the way that they integrated so seamlessly into our community. And we're already excited to see the new faces on campus. They, they loved coming out here today. I think their favorite part of the tour was actually in the modulars in this room. So they really enjoyed uh, hanging out here, already felt like home, getting their lockers ready. And we're just really excited to see what activities they get involved in this year. Awesome. And as far as uh, you guys haven't been here very long in the modulars today, we just finished. Uh, but as far as the accommodations here versus your old home away from home upstairs, uh, you find everything here that we need to, to get the job done. It feels exactly the same. It feels like uh, one space was transported literally to another. And here I actually have more light, uh, more natural light in my room. So I feel like I'm in a well, that's good. We like you. We like the board. <laughs> yeah, so, um, He's actually got one of the best shots on campus. You can see uh, the roundabout. You can see the Journey for Life Impact Center, which is one of the distinctives at Kings Ridge about helping kids, students when they graduate to know who they are, who's they are, and what their purpose is. So that's one of the distinctives of Kings Ridge. So this kind of connects the campus as far as the high school students are concerned. And just want to let you know, we're not trying to promote the modular uh, addition as the final stage. This is just a temporary stage. Because we're actually, we've launched the capital campaign, a $10 million uh, campaign to put 19 new classrooms on the other side of the high school building, out, uh, out in front of the building. Um, so we are really trying to grow and really make this campus all that it can be so as many students who want to be a part of a Kings Ridge education have the opportunity to be here. And we really believe that the reason why a student would want to be here is number one, they will be known by their teachers. And because of that, they'll have a better sense of who they are. They'll have a sense of being connected to teachers for a lifetime. And also, uh, those teachers are really encouraged them to understand what their unique wiring is and their unique purpose is. So that when students leave here, they can serve at their highest levels, do it with excellence, but do it with the distinction of being at a Christian school where their value system really has a basis out of their Christian faith uh, and, and a personal relationship with Christ. So at Kingsbridge, we're really excited to have these new 10 classrooms. We think this is going to be a, a great bridge into the new addition to the high school. And, with, and we really now are going to have enough classrooms that we can grow the high school so that when we move into that new facility, yeah. uh, it'll be capacity. Yep. Yep, absolutely. 
So we're excited to have them. So excited Hunter, to get the year going. Thanks for your work uh, leading the high school. Matt, thanks for your work with the international students. And the international students, this is our second year, as Matt said. And uh, the reason why we do that is so our students understand how to work with students from other, for, with leaders from other cultures, because they'll be doing that in their business world environment as they, they go on into their careers. So uh, thanks for joining us for our tour of the, of the, uh, the modular editions at Kings Ridge Christian School. And we hope that if uh, you see something here that you like, you'll encourage your friends to come and take a look at us. Or if you're just watching it as somebody outside of Kings Ridge, come and take a look. We'd love to have your kids as part of the Kings Ridge community and part of the Kings Ridge education.